let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody, Coast to Coast, This Week in America. Dr. Richard Ruling is a physician whose interest in retirement is Bible prophecy and alternative health care. He's published many books, such as the Alpha and Omega Bible Code, Sword Over America, Why You Shouldn't Ask Your Doctor, Choices That Can Save Your Life, The Fall of America, A Survivor's Manual, and now Megaquake 23, How Three Timelines and Seven Events Sign Signal Apocalyptic Times. We've talked about many of these books with Dr. Ruling, and that will be the book we feature today, Megaquake 2023. How credible is this information? Scientists say that the San Andreas is 80 years overdue, and with increasing seismic activity, it's not hard to see trouble for the West Coast. The fires and high gas prices are an omen of the Golden State turning brown. Saying it could be tomorrow for the big one means they really don't know. The Bible has better information, and Richard Ruling shares it in Megaquake 2023. Richard Ruling, MD, MPH, was board certified in internal medicine, taught health science at Loma Linda University, the National Institutes of Health, gifted his school $40 million for a study to learn why the community lived about seven years longer than other non-smokers. The study supports the benefits of a vegan or vegetarian diet, and many diseases are reversible if we eat wisely. He understands health better and differently than most MDs. And back with us on This Week in America, Dr. Richard Ruling, author of Megaquake 2023. Dr. Ruling, welcome to the program, sir. It's a pleasure to have you back with us. Well, it's very mutual, Rick. Thank you. It's uh, God bless you for your effort to help America understand important stuff. Thank you. I am just the uh, the vessel. You are the one bringing all of this information, and I'm fascinated by this book and looking forward to our conversation. What inspired you to write this book? And I say that five puzzle pieces that, that I'm seeing as I go through the book that are of major importance. If you would go ahead, tell us what inspired you and what those different pieces are. Well, life is like a puzzle to many people. And sometimes as we look back, we can see more. I'm 80 years old in great health, and I, I think I'm seeing more than, I, uh, more than twice as much as four, than at 40. Um, one of the things that I see is that uh, God sees the end from the beginning. He boasts that in Isaiah 46 chapter, but in the previous chapter, Isaiah 45, he proved it, to my opinion, when he uh, named Cyrus 100 years before he was born and told how Cyrus would conquer Babylon when two river gates were left open. Cyrus diverted the Euphrates River uh, into a reservoir and marched under the wall of Babylon and found two gates open, just like uh, he uh, no loss of life to conquer Babylon. And when Daniel showed him his name in ancient writings brought from Jerusalem 70 years earlier, Cyrus was overwhelmed. He was God, uh, the God, Israel's God, and he freed them from captivity and even helped pay their way back to their homeland. To me, that's huge proof that God sees our time, uh, et cetera. And so I, I just say, the um, Bible is really ahead of us on some things when seismologists cannot tell us. Uh, they see uh, San Andreas 80 years overdue for a big one and yet can't tell us when. Uh, I think the Bible has the information. And as I mentioned, you have it in your book, Megaquake, uh, the book of 2023, book available wherever books are sold. We'll go through all of that as we go through the program. Some of the puzzle pieces that I'm seeing that are quite relevant, and I'll talk about several of these if we, if we can, how history of the great disappointment will repeat. Well, uh, actually, that's in the Bible, too. Uh, if you Google great disappointment, it's about a Baptist preacher in 1844 uh, proclaiming uh, 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 that the end of the world was at hand and that they would be raptured. Well, neither event was like they expected, but uh, in Revelation 10th chapter, there's John has a bitter belly when he's asked to eat a little book. It's the book of Daniel, the same book that the Millerites misunderstood. So it was typifying that experience, and uh, Christ said, you must prophesy again, which means same messages, I think, time of judgment for our time, not 1844, and I believe the bridegroom is part of this mix if you study the Bible, not about a rapture to heaven, but when God uh, executed judgment on Egypt, he took them to a covenant, later said, I'm married to you. 
So it's about a covenant opportunity to be God's kingdom, because when they made that covenant, they became his kingdom. And uh, the book of Daniel shows that God will establish his kingdom, but it's not about when he shows up in the sky either. He, he wants us to move by faith. God got an ignorant bride at Sinai when they worshiped a calf 40 days later. And uh, this must not happen to Christ this time. And I'm seeing provisions in the wedding parables that uh, will provide for, for him to get an intelligent bride, not an ignorant bride. All of this fits together in Dr. Ruling's book, Megaquake 2023. You talk about how history of the Exodus will repeat. Just talk about that, if you would, please. Well, uh, God executed judgment on Egypt and freed the Israelites to go to the promised land, the covenant that God made with uh, Israel, or Abraham, really. And the point is that uh, uh, Egypt had done some bad stuff. They enslaved Israel and threw their babies in the river. But America today has enslaved most people in, neg in negative lifestyles and uh, alcohol, tobacco, drugs, even medical care is really a form of bondage when we could be free and live well without prescription drugs that often cause adverse side effects. If you have to go back every month, it's bondage. And so uh, uh, I'm seeing a parallel really with Egypt and the fact that what God did in Egypt was a jubilee event. And jubilees came every 50 years but 50 years from Roe v. Wade is this year. And so, hello, that's one of the timelines that I see. I see several timelines for this year being significant. The book, Megaquake 2023, Dr. Richard Ruling is our guest on the program, R-U-H-L-I-N-G. Book available wherever books are sold. Amazon will give you this information as we go through the program. Moving through these, you've got several examples of history that will repeat itself. Uh, Alexander's victory for one. Uh, one situation in the Bible that you talk about ended in an earthquake. Talk about those that will repeat themselves and the significance of that. Well, as a matter of fact, I predicted war with Iraq before 9-11 based on that uh, vision of Daniel in Daniel 8th chapter where it names the Medes and Persians in verse 20. It says the vision is at the time of the end in verse 17. Well, believing we're in the time of the end, the Medes and Persians are Iraq and Iran. So that's how I happen to predict war with Iraq. And I'm sure it, our next war is not with Russia, not with China, not with North Korea, like Obama was worried about. It's really about uh, Iran. And we might wonder how we get there. But the Bible also reveals that. I don't want to be talking too much. This is not a monologue. I, I like the way you interact. God bless you. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. And I, you're the one that uh, has all this information. And you'll, you'll find it in the book. We're not doing it justice with a half an hour interview. This is uh, something that you need to buy, need to read, uh, and, and maybe form your lifestyle to what uh, what's about to uh approaches in Dr. Ruling's book, but all of, not all of these, how do all of these represent a grace opportunity is what I'm trying to say. You So often we talk this and it's all gloom and doom, but some of these present an opportunity. Talk about that, if you will. Okay. First, I want to share how we get from the vision at the time of the end to the time of the end. And it's a, a fact that uh, President Erdogan of Turkey has appealed for 57 Muslim nations to siege Israel, okay? And in the Bible, 2,500 years ago, it said that Jerusalem uh, will be surrounded. Um, uh, and 57 Muslim nations could do that. It would be possible. Yes. Uh, it says houses rifled, women raped, half the city goes into captivity. And that will make the ram and goat scenario from Daniel 8 active. In other words, a goat flies from the west and stomps a militant Muslim ram breaks its horns, Medes and Persians, Iraq and Iran. We're going to go again to war, this time with Iran, I believe, because uh, we've already done Iraq. And uh, uh, I can imagine, though, first, the Muslims will be celebrating their mosque in Jerusalem, which has an inscription, Allah has no son, when suddenly the, uh, it says, the Lord will roar from Jerusalem, the heavens and earth will shake, it will be the earthquake that initiates the biblical end times. The Muslims will flee, but that earthquake will impact America too because of our bad stuff, uh, like Egypt, you know, and uh, abortions and other things that uh, we really have done badly on, in many respects. And so um, uh, I think punishment is coming to us as, as it did to Egypt anciently. 
Why do you think these puzzle pieces will be relevant in 2023? And that's part of the subtitle of the book, Three Timelines. Why do you think this will be relevant this year? Well, I, I could give you, uh, uh, we mentioned uh, Roe v. Wade as a jubilee event that comes every 50 years, and 50 years from Roe v. Wade is this year. Also, in Joel 1, um, the day of the Lord, which is an end time phrase, it's found five times in the book of Joel, but uh, it's not the visible second coming in the sky. It's when a time of judgment for the last seven years, when people run toward God or away from him, depending on whether they they uh, see him as a good guy, uh, uh, not do our own things, but uh, need to repent. Help us, God. Please help us live well. Uh, and we're sorry for our mistakes. I think he will enable and empower people and they can become part of his kingdom so that the earthquake is really a, a knock for the wedding in the sense of uh, the wedding parables, all three of them. And by the way, most Christians only know about two parables, Matthew 22, the parable of the wedding feast and wedding garment, and Matthew 25, 10 virgins going to a wedding. They miss Luke 12, 35 to, to 48, basically. But uh, those parables are rich with meaning and have Passover imagery, like uh, the midnight cry in, Luke, uh, in Matthew 25. There was a cry at midnight. Well, that goes back to Egypt, a cry at midnight when God executed judgment there. So it's a, a link to tap to the timing. And uh, it, it's a bad understanding to think you can't know, you won't know, you'll never know. Uh, know is aido, means be aware, consider, understand. Christ was saying, you don't understand. It's like a man traveling to a far country. Well, that was, happens to be a 9-11 provision for in Numbers 9, verse 10 and 11. <laughs> Interesting that God linked the text yes. with what we foreknew. He apparently foreknew 9-11, and we all know 9-11 is important. But uh, in Numbers 9, verse 11, there's a Passover timing a month later. And I think that allows for the Muslims to take the city, rejoice in their mosque, and uh, a month later, it's Passover timing. I believe there's going to be a huge earthquake in May. And uh, that's that's how I see these events fitting together. Um, not sure I answered your questions fully, but uh, that's a, 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 an initial, initial view of how one timeline, I, I should go back and say that we were talking about uh, the other timelines. Um, Joel 1, verse 3 and 4 says, you tell your children, let them tell their children, and I'm another generation. It's four generations. A Bible generation is 40 years. Four times 40 is 160. One of the greatest events in American history is freedom that Abraham Lincoln gave to slaves. When he gave the Emancipation Proclamation, it was 1863. And uh, we black people can especially appreciate that. But we're seeing a rise of racism and hate. Christians, we should love everybody. As we're, and if we have the same Father in heaven, we're all brothers. But uh, uh, there is, there are factions that are fomenting hate, which is a bad situation. And uh, I believe when the, when the earthquake comes, there'll be martial law and big trouble. Um, uh, but the point is that the four generations from 1863, 160 years, also brings us to this year. Okay, along with the 50 years from Roe v. Wade. So um, four generations, God's timing is <clears throat> good. And I just say, um, that's another example. There are also some events, but I'll, I'll wait to see. I, I don't want this to be a monologue. Go ahead. I, I, I thank you. Well, I, I appreciate that because all of this information is so important. And again, in the subtitle, it's mentioned seven events. I don't want you to, to give away the, the book here, everything you've got, because there's so much more in the book. And I encourage people to, to pick up a copy of Mega Quake 2023 by Richard Ruling. We'll have all the links on our on our website this week in America.us. Take several of the the events, as many as you would like to discuss here. Uh, what okay. were these? What were these events, and wh when did these events occur? These events all occurred in uh, 2015, and I believe they were a seven-year warning, like Joseph gave to Pharaoh in Egypt. He said, "There's going to be seven years of plenty, and then seven of famine." Part of uh, God, Christ's warning was, uh, uh, "Woe to them with child! Woe to them that give suck!" It takes several years to uh, get pregnant, to have a baby, to nurse it, to wean it, uh, and the baby is still uh, needing help and so on. A seven-year warning is appropriate, and the Bible says that uh, what is has been already. God summons each event back in its turn, giving us a seven-year warning from seven, uh, 2015 through 722 
does imply these seven events were significant for this year, okay? And the first uh, couple really have, man has no control over. It says in Joel 2.31, the sun will be darkened and the moon turned to blood. There was a rare solar eclipse on the equinox in 2015, followed by a blood moon on Passover, which was the day of Jewish uh, uh, judgment. They prayed that God would pass over them in judgment in Egypt, and judgment fell on the Egyptians, judgment fell on Christ, uh, at Passover, and in 70 AD, judgment fell on Jerusalem when Titus came at Passover time, and the city had millions of Jews in it. So end times, I believe, uh, Paul said those holy days are shadows of things to come. Uh, I believe we haven't been seeing it right. The preachers have made it easy. They've um, uh, made it sound simple. Oh, you don't need to do those things or worry about it. Jesus is going to save you. Well, how's he going to save us if we don't read what he said, you know? And so yes. that's uh, my my opinion of several events. And by the way, also in 2015, another Bible event, when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction is coming. The Iran nuclear deal was peace and safety in 2015. And um, sudden destruction with the earthquake is coming. You know, it's interesting. You mentioned this before, but it's it's worth going back to that Christ gave us a half dozen symptom of, uh, uh, signals of uh, 9-11 warnings you picked up on those but again a lot of people did not talk about that because this was how were you able to pick up on that and so many others were not well uh the first one happens to be uh his statement that, that uh, no man knows the day or hour but as the days of noah so but uh means uh it, it, you're, if you're talking about an issue of timing days of noah when was it it happened to have that second Passover timing that is provided in number, the book of Numbers, chapter 9, verse 10, 11, 9, 11. And then uh, you might think, well, that's just an odd coincidence. But the next parable begins, then shall two be in the field. Then means same time again. OK, the issue is time. And it's uh, it's the same as the as Noah's, you know. And uh, by the way, uh, a fictional series on Left Behind uh, quoted that text about uh, one will be taken, the other left, as if we're snatched out of here to heaven, okay? But Luke uh, 17th chapter, last verses, same words, uh, one will be taken, the other left, but the disciples ask, where, Lord, where are they taken? And he says, where the body is, there will the eagles be gathered. And hello, that's not that's not snatched to heaven. That's That's the dinner of the birds in Revelation 19, verse 17 and 18. And so uh, I don't want to go there, you know, but under martial law, uh, U.N. troops won't hesitate to shoot American citizens. They don't care about our American rights. Uh, we're going to be. And by the way, uh, under uh, Colonel Ammerman said a couple decades ago, uh, he was a, uh, a colonel under um, Schwarzkopf, that there are a million U.N. troops in the U.S., on, uh, mostly on hidden uh, uh, closed military bases. We don't see them, but they're here. So martial law can be ready any time we have a big disaster, and I believe it will be big uh, with uh, God shaking the heavens and earth. Uh, so trouble is coming, and Christ gave the signs that I believe we should be aware of. Richard Ruling, MD, is our guest on the program. His book is Mega Quake 2023. The book is available wherever books are sold. Amazon will go through all of those places. Uh, three timelines and seven events signal ap apocalyptic times. Uh, the book is uh, one in a series. All of this, again, on uh, on our website. We'll give you all of the links for this. So how do we get from where we are to the earthquake? When you talk earthquake, you have everybody's attention, and it's like, okay, what do we do now? How do we get from here to there, and what can we do? Well, I believe that uh, Daniel's vision at the time of the end includes the scenario of a goat flying from the west to stomp a militant Muslim ram, and uh, it's, it'll happen when the Muslims uh, take Jerusalem, I think. When they celebrate their mosque, uh, which says Allah has no son, uh, uh, I think it's over for their, their rejoicing when he shakes the heavens and earth. And, and it says in the uh, Zechariah 14, 5, they will flee. Okay. So, uh, and, but I think also God will use the, the ram and goat scenario. And interestingly enough uh, to me, the horns were significant of the leadership of those countries, militant m leaders, okay? Uh, Medes and Persians, kings of those countries. Uh, Saddam is gone. Uh, Alexander the Great died a premature death. He was the great horn on the goat. But in the Bible times, uh, horns were made, used to make trumpets. They would blow, cut off the horn and make trumpets. 
I think the great horn that makes the goat great is the great Trump. I could be wrong, but <laughs> I know that, uh, he's not gone completely. And there are a lot of people. Uh, he may have the military support for when Muslims take the city. Let's get them. Our guest on the program, Richard Ruling, MD. The book is Mega Quake 2023. Time is going by so quickly here. I want to sort of tie this up with why are these important to us? And again, you've you touched on earthquakes and the martial law. Why should we pay attention? For many people, it's like, yeah, but they keep saying this. It's not going to happen, and they go about their normal lives. Why is this important to us? Well, for one thing, some people say, uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. We yeah. should really say we'll see it when we believe it. <laughs> Interesting. And, um, I think that uh, things will happen. We should get ready, like Abraham Lincoln said, I'll study, get ready. Someday my chance will come. We don't have a lot of time to study, and it's taken me a long time to understand it as I do, but I, I really uh, wouldn't trade my understanding with for all the uh, drugs that pharma wants to offer me. So uh, I would just say um, the earthquake under imagery is encoded also as, as a knock in Revelation. I stand at the door and knock. Christians like gentle Jesus always knocking, but that church ended in an earthquake. It was materialistic. It kept him outside knocking. Uh, I think Western churches today have done that, and we should be ready for his knock so we can know how to open to him uh, with, uh, with the information that is alluded to in the book so that we can take advantage and be part of his kingdom. I want to go back a second to something you mentioned in the beginning. Why would God do a miracle to get Jews back to Israel and then let Muslims take Jerusalem? Okay, good question. Um, a Messianic Jew lamented the fact that uh, the 90 percent of the Jews in Israel today uh, have no interest in their spiritual heritage. They're just there for free land that the U.N. gave them. And um, my perspective is that the U.N. Uh, is— uh, is the beast power in Revelation 13 that's going to compel everybody to false worship and wrong stuff, and we shouldn't uh, honor them. The Jews returned prematurely uh, to Israel because God said he would punish them seven times over if they walk contrary, and in Ezekiel 4, verse 5 and 6, he, they walked contrary to him 390 years. Times seven would be 2,730 years. They were not free to return in 1948. They could have been, should have been, in 2009, but in that year, Pope Benedict showed up in Jerusalem. Rome was assigned to flee Jerusalem. They uh, forced everybody to convert to their gods uh, back in uh, pagan Rome time. And even uh, there's been persecution from uh, dark ages and converting Protestants and so on, you know, burning at the stake. Pioneers came to this country for a freedom. And I believe that uh, uh, those things are important for us today to see that uh, we, we don't we want the freedom and uh but that, those were part of history and why we're coming to big times. When will biblical end times begin? What's the time frame in your mind? Well, uh, in Daniel 9, verse 24 and 5, there's a 70 weeks of years, 77s. Sadly, the Jews didn't count the 77s. Messiah came after 69 weeks. And when Christ was anointed of the Holy Spirit, it coincided with this, the 69th week. Uh, one week. Uh, but those will be literal time in the end time. Not, in other words, uh, uh, for a year and a half, 70 weeks, we have from a decree to restore and build Jerusalem. What the Muslims are going to do and the earthquake is going to do, it's going to destroy Jerusalem. And I believe there'll be a decree to restore Jerusalem, but it will also be a heads up for us for the end times, a period of really the um, 77s, 490 uh, is just a year and a half, but it's tied to a time prophecy that's really uh, previous chapter, Daniel 8, 14, that William Miller missed. It was 2,300 days, six and a third years. It's part of the seven-year ending that we're going to have from a decree to restore Jerusalem. Sorry, that's a little wordy, but God bless you. Thank you. Well, no, I understand that. What are you doing? What are you doing to prepare? What are you doing during this period? What are you doing to, to continue your research to see if some of these prophecies are fulfilled? What to, I'm sure people are going, okay, whatever Dr. Ruling's doing, that's what I need to do with my life. What are you doing? How are you doing with all, handling all of this? 
I am planning like it's going to be a real event <clears throat> and that there will be martial law. Christ said to flee Jerusalem. I, I, that was a city. I believe getting out of big cities is important. Uh, it will not be good. Uh, the rioting and everything that takes place when there's no food, food shortages and so on. I think country living is better. Uh, Christ said, sell what you have, though. I sold my property uh, w uh, that I had 20 acres on Lookout Mountain uh, decades ago. I've never suffered. I've never been homeless. Rent, you can find a rent, rental places cheap and uh, uh, be mobile. Uh, in other words, don't get glued down to one spot where you really own it and try to have solar and everything. Because God has a different plan. Haven't had time to talk about that, though, here. But uh, I, I'm, I'm confident of it. Thank you. That's a topic for another program, and there's so much more to discuss here that we don't have time for, so we'll encourage you to buy the book. Doctor, where's the best place to get the book? I mentioned Amazon, the usual places. Where is the best place to get a copy of Mega Quake 2030, 2023? If a person doesn't need a soft cover uh, that they hold in their hand, a digital copy, I have uh, a great opportunity on my website, Health happiness, destiny. Those are just three words, no and. HealthHappinessDestiny.com. Click the blog tab or the uh, the book DVD tab. I should say a DVD book. You can watch part of a DVD. You get that link to the DVD. Uh, the DVD is worth thousands if you're on prescription drugs, in my opinion. And uh, the, the book is a digital form along with uh, uh, the Mega Quake, but an, another one as well. So uh, you get a, actually for, for $4.95 or 99 you get two books and the link to the DVD that's expensive, uh, uh, worth much money. So I would say healthhappinessdestiny.com. Go there if you don't mind a digital copy. That is good. And I've got it's three simple words, and we'll have that up on our, our website as well. And if you, you know, do an Amazon, go to uh, the, the author page for Dr. Ruling and so many great books, and many of those we had the pleasure of, of talking about here on the program. Doctor, it is always a pleasure. What are you working on now? You've got another book that uh, you're ready to publish? <laughs> Well, I do have, uh, I've written another one since then, The Greatest Story Never Told. It's uh, actually part of um, uh, the Unleavened Bread uh, wedding feast topics, uh, things that, topics that God wants restored. And uh, that's, uh, I think, uh, I have a pastor who's very excited about that, and we've, we've had um, more than one exchange on it. So, uh, uh that I, I won't try to explain it now because it's a, a can of worms to uh, at first, but thank you. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll complete the book and we can talk about it. But for right now, the book is Mega Quake 2023, how three timelines and seven events signal apocalyptic uh, times. The book available, again, at uh, all of the usual places, healthhappinessdestiny.com, the website to find more information on Dr. Ruling there as well. Sir, always a pleasure. Look forward to having you back with us. Thank you for spending some time with us and explaining a, 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 a crucial topic to all of us. Thank you for being with us once again. God bless you. Same to you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Dr. Ruling. The book, Mega Quake 2023, information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We're back on today's program after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC, for information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.